Dr. Suzanne Metley, and and I brought her in because I want to show you what the experiment was, and then I need your expert advice, all right? Because we have a meteorite expert here in the house, which That's is a good nice. thing. That's nice, I know. We've so, been quizzing her. So most <laughs> time, people think of a magnet. You go outside and you kind of get some iron on a magnet. We need something much stronger than this. So this is called, you have it in your hand, you can show everybody. It's called a neodymium magnet. It's a rare earth magnet. It's extremely strong. So I have to be very, very careful. I'm going to have another one down below, and if you focus on your hand, and I come close to this, you can kind of see what happens in your hand. <gasps> oh, flip. You're stuck. <laughs> see how you're st you're stuck. Here I'm gonna put you like this and let you stick this way. Turn your hand over. That's a strong magnet, all right? Oh so we can really my. detect little tiny pieces of iron, okay? All right, so I'm gonna somehow get you apart. We took yes. this with photojournalist Dan Dolan out to uh, to a house and we asked Dan Straub to help us out. So if you take a look at the video okay. here, you can see that I asked him to climb up and to kind of look through a gutter. So there's his neodymium magnet and the same thing that you see there, see how super, super strong it is? And he just has to be careful because he sticks to everything as well. And then I asked him to go over and if he would hop up on that ladder, now we have to tell people at home, don't go climbing up on ladders and playing in your gutter necessarily, but this gentleman right here uh, went up and so Dan is gonna put the magnet down inside and believe it or not, in the gutter there are little tiny pieces, I think, of meteorites. So look at this, Whoa. see how he's trying to, to grab stuff? Sure. So that's at least what the hypothesis is. You think that's is. where it would land. You know, well, they're hitting maybe. your house all the time, right. right? And so they say that they're perfectly round in shape and that's it. So show us what you brought here that's and I'll move right. this out of the way. I don't These want, the, this is the real deal. That's right. I don't want the six-year-olds going out on the ladder. So no. make sure they look no. in the dirt around the driveway and this is fine. Now what I have here it are two rocks. One is not a meteorite, but one is. Can you tell just by looking? Great, no. Kim, guess. I'm going to guess the bigger one, but I have no idea. See, I guessed the bigger one too. Mm, yeah. And the answer is no. If you look, this actually has pebbles from ah. Earth on it. Also, this was sitting in somebody's garden for seven years. There's no rust on it. Ah. This is stainless steel slag, industrial waste from some mining or steel making operation. This on the other hand, see how it's a darker black and it's got some red rust on yeah, it? Yeah, you see the rust. And somebody cut it open and polished it and sure enough, that's an iron meteorite. That's the real deal. But wow. these are rare, correct? These are very rare, only about 10% sure. Only <gasps> about 10% yeah. of all meteorites that fall on <coughs> Earth are irons. The vast majority are what we have over here, are what are called stonies. Now this is a piece of iron. I'm gonna move it over here. The rest of these are some kind of stony. This actually is an entire little meteorite. These fell at the same time. See how they've got a dark black fusion crust on yeah. them. That can sometimes have metal in it. And when it gets wet, it can rust. But these you told me are not magnetic. Those, Look at this, even my super yeah. strong magnet, these are not magnetic at all. That's right, right, because this doesn't have any metal in it. It doesn't have any magnetic material. It did, however, probably come from the surface of an asteroid, like asteroid Vesta. <sighs> In the asteroid belt. And here's what I asked. I wanted her to share with us, and so we put a ton of stuff up on the website. If you think Perfect. you found one, some steps to go through. But the bottom line is you got to go find an expert like you, right? Well, yes. However, don't start with an expert. Start with going up, playing in the dirt. Dig around. Dig around, and then see what you can do. Make your own scientific logbook or journal. And Write then you stuff come to down. me, I'm 42, and I'm still playing in the dirt, right? There you Absolutely. go. That's, That's what scientists do.